what's up what's up what's up it is thursday look at the airplane the plane the plane i don't know if it's a bad connection but we'll see we shall see i know i can't really see myself one stop how are you you stopped at the right place too i just want to let you know you stopped at the right place but uh i am kita j i'm an entertainer i'm a custom designer and i am goddamn me okay farouk how will you say that how farouk is that farouk i'm gonna have a bad connection y'all Jude, how are you? What's happening? Long time no see. Look, I can only see. Um, but it is so much going on today. Um, not today in this world. Let me put it like that. Um, I came on here because you know I told y'all I get exhausted with Periscope. So I come on when I can and I share when I can and I love when I can. But um. I don't know if I'm having a great connection right now. Might not be so great. Might not be so great. But anyway, um, it does a lot to me when I'm on Periscope. But it's a lot of stuff going on in this world. I mean, gosh, I can't even fathom the stuff that's going on. You got a teacher. Well, hold on. First of all, let's start off on the good foot. Incident after incident, right? And I also want to end with something positive. Because it's always something... You know in this world that's happening they keep saying it's the end of the world it's not the end of the world it's the end of somebody's world it's the end of somebody's world because our spirits are still living on but it's the end of that person that was taken away you know whether it, whether it be devastating um actually your body it's the end of that body but but you still go into another your spirit goes somewhere else i mean we can't say that our spirit just dies with our body it doesn't we take our last breath with that body that spirit release and guess what it's out there somewhere it, it that that has interacted with someone else but let's talk about uh what's her name kanika kanika uh jenkins right and see this is my first time literally speaking on this now i know a lot of um pis living is dying um i don't know about that jew living is dying i don't know you got to tell me what you mean by that you fugly you fugly you fugly i'm 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 so attractive i don't know what you talking about but anyway i have high self i have high esteem right you can never get me down but anyway as i was saying kanika jenkins um, the young lady, everybody said, thought they was a PI and they were able to talk about what's going on with the case of Kanika dying to our condition, to our, to our brainwashing. Um, you know, I don't, I, I don't know if, if I would say that, but, um, I mean, and that's just me because we all think differently. You know, we break things down differently and someone's perspective of something might not be someone else's perspective of it. But here's the thing, we live. And you know how we say we, um, and I had, I had to stop saying like, you know how, how sometimes we say, um, we put things in the universe to say like, uh, what else could there be or um you only got one life to live and you know things like that no our spirit is still living our spirit lives on you know people people have been through um vortex uh so many times we'd be surprised how old you, your spirit really is and we don't know how old our spirits really are and that's why i think sometimes when we see people and talk to people they seem much older than what you ever talk to a younger person and 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 when you talking to them it almost seems like wow you know I, it feels like i'm talking to somebody that's you know that would comprehend around my age 
and not everybody your age will comprehend. So, so you you be like, oh, she, he or she seems older than what they really are. So, anyway, the Kanika Jenkins situation. Like I said, this is my first time really talking about it on my Facebook page. I've actually added my two cents, but um, I don't know what happened. All I know is they were smoking, drinking, and uh, not to say it's very devastating for somebody to lose their life, you know, at such a young age, you still have time to live. Um, but I mean, you know, we go through our spurts and, and, and things are just, I don't know. It's a wake up call for some people. It's a wake up call silly but need to shave oh lord go do that go take care of those hairy things go go take care of those hairy things but um as i was saying okay you too um but as i was saying i don't know what happened to her i can't even say all i say all i say is the kids were smoking and drinking they were driving they were smoking they were drinking um And, and it's a possibility that somebody, somebody had taken her away and put her and lured her into that freezer. Because I just read an article where they said <coughs> in Chicago, <coughs> they found body parts that belong to somebody, that belong to uh, people. So evidently, people have, and, and they were selling those body parts to like help like um hospitals and stuff like that they were selling the body parts so you never know what's being done and like they say organs are being stole that get out movie is is not the beginning okay they've been talking about this for a long time how folks stealing our organs taking them and using them for their own uh selfishness you know killing killing um brown people and 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 taking their organs and 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 giving them to their uncles and aunts and all that stuff people that can afford to pay for that so folks that need money are out to do any and everything for it to get it and so i wouldn't be surprised if somebody lured her in there you know where she couldn't get out and um possibly was could have been trying to harvest her body parts you never know we never know what's going on like i said every day is something new it's always something coming up it's always a new case of something the man that killed his freaking girlfriend that was pregnant yesterday cried on national television the teacher in in, in out here where i live in maryland the man that killed lured his girlfriend his pregnant four month former pregnant girlfriend to some wooded area and killed her and then okay and i always say we don't have friends i know i don't have friends because i know people talk behind my back i know they have things to say about me i know when things aren't going the right their way they're upset and they take that out and they talk about you to any and everybody so i will tell you right now i don't consider myself having friends you know, I know how it all goes. And, and you got some shysty people in um, this in any country. You got shysty people, period. People are shysty. Just had a, a, a female in Chicago um, took her girlfriend, her one of her, uh, so supposedly her friend. Okay, we're going to use that word because that's what they use. Her friend. They got into an argument. They went out over some guy and she went back to the, her, the girlfriend's house laid down went to sleep and the girlfriend done had guys come in there and try to rape her and i don't even know if they succeeded but they came and this was in chicago another story in chicago this one came out right after the kanika jenkins you know what i'm saying so then you got the pregnant the, the woman that's pregnant the man done set her up, killed her, left her to be damned. 
and then went with her family and cried and tried to cry on national television. <laughs> My, you know, I don't know where she is. When I saw that video, I was livid. I couldn't believe it. And that, that reminds me of the lady that was pregnant with her child and her husband killed her. You know, and I think she was almost due. I can't, I can't remember her name. I don't know why I want to say Nancy. Hey, Cherry, how are you? I don't, I don't know if I want to say Nancy. Um, but I can't think of the lady's name some years ago when her husband killed her when she was pregnant and then try to cry with her family and make it look like he didn't do it and everything. I mean, this world is a piece of shit. The people in this world is a piece of shit. People would do anything for money. People would do anything for money. Then they got young Jock putting on the dress, being an internet whore. You know what I'm saying? I already told y'all how uh, people like to promote, you know, themselves. It's a different kind of promotion now. People are advertising in different ways. They don't advertise the way they used to. They have to make it look realistic. Things have to look realistic now. They have to. They can't just, they can't just advertise. See, people have to draw attention to themselves some kind of way. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing because, hey, do what you gotta do. But you gotta put on a dress for people to buy into you. Come on. And see, that's what a lot of these guys are doing nowadays, putting on wigs and dresses to get women. And I don't even see how women are into that. Women be cheering a lot of that on. They, it, it, your man out here dressing like a, uh, if, now if you gay, that's one thing. If you cross dressing for a job, that's another. But if you out here just putting on a dress and wigs and all that stuff just for the hell of it, come on now, something really wrong. You, you doing it for, you know, for a job. You just doing it like it's, it's, it's too much of that. It's too much of the men and trying to be funny with wigs and all that stuff. It's just too much going around. I'm tired of seeing it. So young Jock figured he would put on his royal blue, royal blue dress. And um, yeah. And go to the internet, whatever he's doing. He said he's supposed to be doing some shows, you know, some TV shows, but come on. Like, he said the internet is for, you know, basically it's like his guilty pleasure. That's what the internet is for, his guilty pleasure. But, you know, I just don't know. Folks are just so, so out there now and doing anything just because, you know. It's a lot, it's a lot of stuff going on in this world. Oh, the little boy was hung. I, I mean, I don't like to talk about all this stuff, but it, it, just, it just hits me sometimes. And I can't help it. You know, the little eight-year-old was hung, man. What are we thinking? Are we not thinking? Are we just tripping? Are we, you know, I don't understand. Do we not care about one another? Do we not care? Is it all about the moolah? All about the money? Is it about giving to people? Is it about any of that? I mean, I would like to know. Is it? Because all I see... I see a lot of devastation in this world. It's a lot of devastation. And I'm about to get my water too, so y'all can check. So I am getting ready to um, change my website to MC Key to J. Nah, not MC Key to J. But check out my art, you guys. Um, I'm going to be working on a nice grand project. Um, remember, I ain't really telling y'all nothing, okay? I ain't really telling y'all nothing. I'll let y'all see when the time come. Because, you know, sometimes when you bark, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. And not only that, people try to sabotage what you're doing. You know, I ain't got time for all of those games. I'm, um, I'll be 43 this year. I ain't got time for it. I'm so happy in, you know, my space. It could be much better, but cre being creative, um, I'm an artist, I'm an entertainer. I love entertaining. You know, a couple people on Facebook, 
been messaging me and you know telling me I have such a great personality on my stories and you know people loving what I'm doing I'm getting emails uh, I'm getting booked you know getting gigs um, my business is, is, is slowly moving you know existing nature is moving so it's not like you know we're stagnant we're working on some things of course you know we, you see how we work right we got some entertainment stuff going on here so um like I told you, we got, we got the hip-hop stuff going on. Um, I'm helping them with some talent as well here. Um, things that I know. Uh, but the Kennedy Center, you know, it's it's like... Uh, you know, you could, you, you could be mediocre, but you'll grow. You, you have to want to grow. I'm still growing. Hey, I might be at the mediocre stage, but I'm still growing. I'm learning the business. Um, I'm able to see more of what's going on as far as talent. Uh, and then that way, once I start doing what I'm going to be doing with more of my projects, because I got some animation stuff coming up, I will tell y'all that. Because y'all know I got this lovely voice here, right? This lovely voice. So if you haven't checked out any of my animation, and I'm going to be looking for an illustrator as well, because I know that I've been doing the blog, I've been doing the... Um, the uh, bitmojis I've been using those as my you know for my little pictures and stuff for my voiceovers but yeah I got much much more in store and more is coming and um, like I said I'm learning things in this environment about the creative space um, all the different types st styles of, of talent and uh, and we're gonna see where where this goes like I said getting book getting more shows um i'm actually trying to do something with the government so the dj that i met he's going to help me with that um so i'm meeting people i'm doing things i'm learning um and that's what it's all about i'm not afraid to tell my ups and downs i'm not afraid for people to see that you know i just know um, people boasting and bragging about what they got going on but hey love what you do love what you do because i'm going to love what i'm doing it's too much it's too much mess out here stay away from the mess stay away from the ratchetness grow your brain without all the distractions that's going on yeah you gotta we gotta deal with the world but there's a lot of distractions out here um enjoy the sun get out in the sun I find that when you're in the sun, you're enjoying life so much better because you're getting your vitamin D. But um, I'm proud to say I'm happy of, of I've had challenges. You know, I was listening to a lady today. I think I forget her name is Sinclair. I was listening to a, a, a podcast and I'm always trying to listen to stuff that's going to uplift me and not put me down. So the little cat fights and stuff, y'all can keep that because that ain't doing, that's a disservice for me. I don't want to see the cat fights. I want to see people thriving in business, being inspirational, um, taking things to the next level, uh, creating a path for other people, helping them in the process, helping other people in the process, not holding on to everything like for dear life. You, you going to die with it? But you can charge people for your time, but you're going to die with it, right? You're going to die with everything right here, safeguarded. I don't mind sharing, but guess what? Pay for it. Don't mind paying for something that you want to learn. Um, so I'll be getting out more. I'll be checking out some of these events going on. Of course, here we're going to have some stuff. I'll let you guys see what's going on at the JFK Center. Hey, baby. Because we got it all. Make sure I keep myself in spirit. So, I'm excited. Anyway, that's why I came on here. I know some people just going to have to check, check the replay. Because I believe the connection has really been bad. But, it's alright. It's alright. And this will be on YouTube. Matter of fact, I'm getting ready to put it on YouTube now. But, I'll check you guys later. If you have wasn't able to catch up with Key to J... You can hit me on Instagram, okay? Check out my stories on a daily basis. I'm always putting motivation out there. And I even get a little, you know how my humor is. I'm a little funny. Well, I'm not a little funny. I'm a lot funny, okay? Just say I'm humorous. I'm entertaining. Um, 
I'm proud to be me. So exist the letter in nature on Instagram. Exist the letter in nature on Snapchat. And if you look down in the link on um, Periscope, you'll see the link to my Facebook page. So check it out, my art. You'll see more of my art coming. Check out some of my art on Instagram. But I got some really, really nice stuff coming. Um, some projects that I'm working on. Yes, paid pro projects too. They paid projects. So just in case somebody was wondering. But anyway, I'll check you guys later. Have a great one.